Welcome back to another free CAD tutorial. In this video, we'll be exploring the Sketcher workbench and learning how to create circles in a sketch using two different methods. So, let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have FreeCAD open and the Sketcher workbench activated. If you don't have FreeCAD installed, head over to the FreeCAD website and download it. Once you're in the Sketcher workbench, you'll find various tools on the toolbar. Click here to add a new document. Click here to add a new sketch. Turn on grid view. Turn off auto constraints. Empty sketch. No constraints. No elements. There are two methods to make a circle. Click here to view drop down list. Method 1, center and rim point, method 2, 3 rim points. Method 1 allows us to create a circle using the center point and a rim point. With the circle tool selected, click on the desired center point of the circle. Then, move your cursor to define the rim point, and click once more. Great! You've just created a circle using the center and rim point. In Solver Messages, there are three degrees of freedom to make a sketch fully constrained. One degree of freedom for the elemental property. Here element is circle, and its property is radius or diameter. Two degrees of freedom are of a point which is a center of circle. Let's restrict elemental degree of freedom by providing radius. Center point is free to move in 2D space. To fix center position, provide vertical and horizontal constraints. Sketch is fully constrained. Here you can see all constraints related to three degrees of freedom. You can edit them by clicking on each. In the second method, we'll create a circle using three rim points. This method is especially useful when you don't know the center point of the circle but have the rim points. With the circle tool selected, click on the first rim point. Then, move your cursor to select the second rim point and click. Finally, choose the third rim point, and click again. Fantastic! You've just created a circle using three rim points. You can see three degrees of freedom here. One degree of freedom is for the elemental property and two degrees of freedom are of a circle center. In other way, you need three constraints to lock these degrees of freedom. Let's provide radius first. Degrees of freedom reduced to two. Provide horizontal constraint between two centers.
provide vertical constraint. Sketch is now fully constrained. Now that we have our circle created, let's explore how to make changes and edit them. FreeCAD offers several options to modify and edit circles within your sketch. Double clicks on dimension. You can see all six degrees of freedom here. Let's take one more example for creating a circle by three rim points. As you are familiar with line tool, let's use line tool for its reference. Click on line tool. Draw three lines. As you know each point has two degrees of freedom, therefore for each line, it will be four, and for three lines, total degrees of freedom will be 12. You can see degrees of freedom here. Click on Coincident Constraint, select two points. Do the same for others. Degrees of freedom are reduced to six. Each coincident constraint will reduce two degrees of freedom. We will reduce additional three degrees of freedom by providing length constraint. Now updated remaining degrees of freedom are 3. You can use any combination of 2 vertical with 1 horizontal or 2 horizontal with 1 vertical to lock the points. And also you can use vertical or horizontal constraint to lock the line. Let's use vertical constraint to reduce one degree of freedom. Select vertical constraint for line. You can see this vertical line constraint in between the line's end points. Now we will use vertical distance constraint to lock the point position. You can see fully constrained sketch. Now click on circle tool. We have turned off auto snap so you can click near to the vertex of triangle. You can see three degrees of freedom. If you turn on auto snap, it will take rim point as a triangle vertex automatically. To make this skek fully constrained, we will use point onto object constraint. You can see this sketch is now fully constrained. There you have it. You've learned how to create circles in the FreeCAD Sketcher workbench using two different methods, center and rim point, and three rim points. Additionally, we explored how to edit and modify circles to suit your design needs. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more free CAD tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Happy sketching in free CAD.